Mule deer and moose populations will continue to receive valuable research dollars in Wyoming in the coming years. Following a Wyoming Game and Fish Commission vote earlier this month, the Game and Fish wants more research to understand factors affecting local populations. Eight projects will benefit mule deer. The projects for 2017 were chosen through a collaborative effort among state and federal agencies, non-governmental organizations, landowners, sportspersons, and other members of the public. It's all part of the multi-year Wyoming Mule Deer Initiative. This round of investments for mule deer will directly enhance over 9,000 acres of important mule deer habitat by reducing invasive cheatgrass and juniper and study three mule deer migration routes to better conserve those routes. In total, partners will contribute $5.75 for every commission dollar that's invested in the mule deer projects. The commission also voted to extend moose research in the Snowy Range and initiate a new moose research project in the Bighorn Mountains. In the Snowy Range, Game and Fish will work with the University of Wyoming Cooperative Research Unit to learn more about causes of mortality, habitat use, survival rates, and recruitment of young moose. In the Bighorns, the Game and Fish will initiate a research project to monitor moose survival and evaluate the specific cause of mortalities. Other study objectives for the bighorns include evaluating the population performance of moose and documenting seasonal habitat use. The end goal of the mule deer and moose projects is to improve management of the species and ultimately provide more hunting and wildlife watching opportunities. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.